What's up guys, so we're back at it again with another one, another one, I do mean another one. So, I don't know if this whole, whole thing brings any tale from way back when, when I first started, but I'm taking it back a little bit, taking it back with this bad boy right here. I'm going to do some work right here on the side of the house, but just not in my good clean clothes. So I have to change shirts and now nah. all right so we back that was quick nice work shirt so anyway um pretty much we're gonna get today started in today's video we're gonna talk about this wonderful 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 I mean wonderful Chevy Malibu 2007 Chevy Malibu I am having it currently, I am currently selling it. Um, I guess I give some details on it, what's going on. So, bought this car about a year or two ago. Meant to drive it for the winter. Eh, went without it. It sat, it sat, didn't do nothing with it because everybody knows I'm pouring money into my 240. So, you start pouring money into that and try to get this thing on the road it delays everything so yeah so anyway i brought this car um meant to drive for the winter never got around to it uh here we are coming up now again for the next winter and i got mixed feelings for it the mixed feelings are do i keep it do i sell it i don't know but here it is so as you see here, I bought this car. Um, of course, it's got a little ding right here. Um, let me see. Another little ding right there. A ding right there. It's got a little, I'll go on that side and show y'all. Right, so, oh, that's good. You open the door. I haven't cleaned out the inside. I literally just got it, cleaned up the outside. But I had one of these in my earlier age. I had a 2006 one, Chevy Malibu. Mine's was a six cylinder. This right here is actually a four cylinder. So this car pretty much is good for the, for the good most part. <sighs> but I wanted to go over some things with you guys. I don't know how much y'all guys care about that, but the sun has basically beat that down. I mean, what suns don't do, what heat don't do. This is the interior of the car. Yes, it needs cleaning. I haven't got around to cleaning it yet. I was going to clean it today, but it looks like I'm not going to be able to do that either because losing light outside. All right, so here's the biggest problem. Well, not really a biggest problem. Here's a problem that probably might scare most of you guys away. So hold on, hold on, before you guys prejudge and all this extra stuff. Oh man, look at this. The fender's messed up, the headlight's not there, the grill's not there, the grill, bottom grill piece is not there. Hold up, hold up. The bottom grill piece is inside the car. It will go right back on. I haven't took the time out for that yet. The grill piece on the other hand, I have to get one of those. Um, I get one of those from like the junkyard or I can reorder a brand new one. The headlight I have in my car. So that should be able to hook back up, boom, put it back in. Everything should be good to go for that. This fender on the other hand, I got two different options. I can go to the junkyard and get one or I can order one online and put it on. Um, but from this angle, this is how it looks. This is the front angle of it. And yes, I will be talking to you about the other side. On top of all this, there is no, no lights on the dashboard with this car. So this is a four cylinder, like I said. Pretty much, I have to replace this battery. The battery's completely shot and dead. I will have that battery replaced. Um, 
I'm planning on doing a tune-up, meaning changing my spark plugs, uh, possibly spark plug wires. I don't think I gotta change the wires. I think I just gotta change the spark, yeah, spark plugs. So just change my spark plugs because they don't have wires and all that. It's completely different. This system is completely different. But she'll run, she'll start, she'll move, she'll drive. I've done all that. And yeah. Um, this car was previously hit and hit on the back side where I got my garage at behind a deer. A deer hit this whole bad boy. And um, the girl, I guess she came out. The deer must have came out. She must have skidded off into like a side curb or something. Because you can see here the damage that it did. But that ain't nothing. That's minor. I'm telling you guys right now, that's minor, minor versus how mine was, which I will throw a clip in here right now. All right, and we back. I missed the hell out that car, guys. The car was a lot of fun to me. That's all I can say. This right here, I guess it was scraped. I'm not really too sure about that. I don't know if it was done at my garage or what. Because I do own, or I got a neighbor next door to where I'm at. He might have scraped it with his trailer. I'm not really sure. I never really bother to ask him. Yeah. So, if you guys are interested and you do want a new front bumper, I can get you a new front bumper. Throw it on here. Um, of course, it needs, it's going to need tires. It's going to need brakes. And as you can see, the inside of that rotor right there how it's all scraped yeah you're gonna need to make new brakes and new rotors for that this is the other side of the car um i would say i would probably do brakes in the back this is the passenger side So this is basically a 2007 Chevy Malibu. Oh, this has got a little warpage right here. I don't know if that's from the heat or what. There goes the other piece that I was telling you about. It goes on down in the grill. I can put that back on there. I just gotta clean the inside of this out, which ain't gonna be much. A little cup holder goes to that. Put that back on. This is the other back door. That's a minor chip from just sitting. It's pretty much like paint chilling up, peeling off. So, for the most part, because I feel as though this car runs, it drives, I have to give you the mileage in a minute once I move it back and out. You know, there, there's no real big problem with it. Like, So for me personally, if I go in and just throw the headlight in there, as is, that'd be good enough for me. Throw the headlight in there, change my battery, change my brakes, my rotors, change all my oils, new spark plugs. I'm good. I'm probably looking probably to throw back in this car maybe less than a thousand dollars. And I'm good. I can drive on that. But I guess some people feel differently about it, especially for the price that I'm going to say. But. I'm not mining for somebody to come at me with a lower price. I'm just not pretty much, oh, I'll give you $800, $900 for a 2007. Like, come at me like, man, I'll give you eight, dollars $900. Yes, I know it's a Malibu. The car runs. It drives. So, this is the sound of the car. Let me sit down and tell you, show you guys the dashboard. Yes, it does have a crack in the windshield. I mean, I think I can get a little filler for that. Or I'll just have it replaced. I'm not sure. I don't know how much that's annoying to people. So, yeah. Of course, that's my gas light. Let me know that I'm low. Like I said, it needs a battery. That's why you see the power going in and out. But otherwise, other than that, it's good. That's how much the mileage is on it. It's not bad. I had a lot more on mine. I believe I had a 
hundred and eighty thousand on mine, and I was like the second owner of that vehicle. A knob is missing. You know, you can go ahead and go to the junkyard and pull that if it's that much get on your nerves. But like I said, once I get finished cleaning it up and um, getting it out there to the people, it should be good. Well, I did not know that was like that until now. Sorry about that, guys. I guess the only way for you to get to this, you have to pull the whole thing down, pull this whole plastic piece out, and then um, replace that. But that's up to the customer. I just had a lot of fun with it. I had a whole lot of fun with it and I was gonna relive that whole thing over again but then I thought about like you know once you had something before you don't really want to go back down that path you don't really want to go back down messing with the stuff again you just like yeah let me just let that be what it is and move on so I guess what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take this car move back and get on the real um, part of this video but I basically just want to introduce this car to you guys let you guys know that it is for sale i'm going to put an ad up like i said it's an ad right now up on marketplace on it um i'm probably going to refresh that ad again over this weekend and replace it again so just kind of way i can show everybody that there is a light in here there is a light on here now because i think that's what's distorting people away from it like oh it needs so much work but it's not really a lot of work this is for my old g's I went and got this um, headlight from the junkyard, right along with some other variable things. Sorry, I, I started recording and then after that I stopped, so I decided to use that footage because it was just like one clip and me taking out another part. I probably use a piece of it for another part of my video for um, a later date. Hope you guys like that. But um, I did have a headlight with this with this car. The clips was broke on it and all that extra good stuff. Um, so I just want to head to the junkyard, like I said, and pick this up. Um, I just took off the little tabs for that. It basically just going to go back in here, mount in here like so. And voila. So that should be all mounted up once I get finished doing it. I don't think the headlights are going to come on because I think I got to replace them. But for the most part, this be one more thing done to the car. Okay guys, so in my earlier videos, I have used this product before, um, good in pros and cons, it's good I guess, um, yeah, I don't have um, too much bad to say about it, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can bring these headlights back to brand new, bring this back to somewhat more brand new, and as you guys can see, with this whole fender thing I was telling you about yeah that's why I want to get another fender and throw that on so let me sit here and um, bolt this in and try to get things started for this video in this Maguire kit um, pretty much this what comes with it you get like a little sanding a little tool to help you sand down the light a little bit um, I guess it's like the final wax polisher and What's these stainless headlights? So you get that with it. Um, you get a 3000 grid sander. And you get a 1000 grid sander. And then you get like this little fluffy thing for the headlights. So it's inside the box here. I didn't want to get it dirty on the ground. The first step, like I said, is saying use this one sanding um, grid. I have to get a small cup of soap and water for the headlights for me to sand this down. All right, so on one head I got my water. Put that up here. It's got like a little cup and bowl. So I'm gonna just take that. Dab some of that on here, like so. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take some on this rag. I ain't gonna hurt nothing. Wipe it down, just like put some water on it, like so. All right, 
All right, so there we go with that. So they say, well, the direction says that you want to go in a circular motion like so and don't concentrate in one spot. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so we're back. So that's how it come out so far. Yes, it's a little foggy. I just got finished doing that one versus I haven't even done this one yet. So, <laughs> give me a minute, and we'll do this one now. Damn it, boy! That look good. Good. It's supposed to be for the goddamn... Damn it, Woody! I'm sorry. <laughs> for that. Oh, I'm sorry. It's one of my face. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Turn your face. There, there you go. Right He's there stupid. On the side. There you go. Don't worry. He'll see it later. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. Lord have mercy. <laughs> you funny as shit. So now I'm about to use this. I guess it's like a glaze over the light. And that's pretty much the end of this video. So as you guys can see, the headlights good bam it would be nice if I had blue LEDs like I used to have in my other one and this one but I ain't doing all that <laughs> this fool wants me to go ahead and keep it and I'm driving around I had I already had this I don't want it again <laughs> yeah don't care. <laughs> You're right. Well, I could do that with my truck that I want to get. 